one of the few mile and a halfs that are actually don't have a, a D-shaped front straightaway, and I think that creates the racing that you see at this racetrack. That's what makes people run the very bottom at the, the beginning of a run, and that's what makes people uh, spin out coming to pit road. Also, what makes the top so fast is just because these straightaways are so long and the corners are so tight. So when you're running at Homestead, do you tend to favor the high line or are you down towards the bottom? Um, honestly, I would rather not run the fence unless I have to, just because okay. the risk factor that's involved. This, this past year there in the Xfinity car, we were good enough to run the, run the top scene but not have to run the, the very top for most of the race, and that's kind of nice. I'm just not used to that. It feels really slow Nothing. to me. Everything feels like it's happening very slow, even when you're running the fence. The track changes a lot. It gains so much grip so fast that the way your car drives changes really quickly. And on top of that, with the fall off that you have here, it's very challenging to know what direction to take and what what um, what what is actually track change and what is actually tire fall off and just de degradation in, in the car's driving capabilities. For me, it's refreshing to be back so quickly, but at the same time, the conditions will be different. I believe the start times will be close to the same, but different time of year, I think the the track temperature will, will change at different, uh, at a different pace than it has historically.